Hello friends, welcome to another video. This one is math paper one, variant one one of May, June, 2019. So let's move to question number one. So question number one is a fraction question. We have four over nine plus two over five. So to do this, we first have to get a common denominator. So we take this nine times five. And then we cross multiply. So 4 times 5 is 20 plus 9 times 2 is 18. So 20 plus 18 is 38. And 4 times 5 is 45. And this is your answer. 38 over 45. Okay, moving on to part B. 1 plus 0 0.6 divide by 0 0.02. So when we have many operations in the same equations, we have to follow the bod mass rule, which means we have to do division before we do addition. So 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.02. So this can be somewhat confusing. What I can do is I can write this down as fraction. So 0 0.6 is 6 over 10, 10 divided by 2 over 100 which is equal to 6 over 10, multiply, we flip the other side, will be 100 over 2. So, bam, cut, divide by 2, 3, will be 30. So, 30 plus 1 is 31. That's your answer for part B. Question number 2. In the grids below, the number in each square is a sum of the numbers immediately below it. As you can see, 21 is a sum of 7 plus 14, 7 is a sum of 2 plus 5, and 14 is a sum of 5 plus 9. So now we have to complete the grids below. So for part A, so for this square, it's just a sum of these two numbers. So minus 3 plus minus 7 minus 4 is minus 7. And then for part B, we have this space. We know that this number plus this number is this number. So this number is this minus this. So 3.04 minus 0.63. So 4 minus 3 is 1. 10 minus 4 is... 10 minus 6 is 4, which is 2. So 2.41. And now for this case, we know that this plus this is this. So what is this? This is this minus this. So 0 0.63 minus 0 0.55. So this, so 10 minus 5 is 5, plus, five, plus 3 is 8. 5 minus 5 is 0, 0. So that's your answer, 0 0.08. Question number 3, write these numbers in order of size starting with the smallest. So we have square root of 17, we have 4, 4.5, and cube root of 63. So let's first take these three numbers. Let's convert everything into square root. So here we have square root of 17. So what is 4? 4 is square root of 16. And what is 4.5? It is square root of 4.5 square. So what is 4.5 square? 4.5 times 4.5. So 5 times 5 is 25, 4 times 5 is 20, 20 plus 2 is 22, right, just leave it right here, cut, 0, 4 times 5 is 20, 4 times 4 is 16 plus 2 is 18, so it is 20, 25, since we have two decimal plates, well, 1 and 2, 20, so this is equal to square root of 20.25. Two, five. So if we ignore this number, from this side we can see that square root of 16 is the smallest among these three numbers, which is 4 is the smallest among these three. Right, that's the first conclusion. So now let's consider this number. So we have cube root of 63. We don't know what it is, but we know that cube root of 64 is equal to 4. How do I do this? We have to find the prime factors of 64. So we can do, um, let's do this. So 64, let's say we divide by 4. We have 16. 
divided by 4 is 4. So 64 is 4 cubed. So if we do cube root of 4 cubed is 4. That's how I get 4 here. So we know that cube root of 64 is equal to 4. And since cube root of 64 is bigger than cube root of 63, we say that 4 is bigger than this. I think we, we agree on this as a logical solution. Like uh, by uh, comparing, we know that 4 is bigger than cube root of 63. So on this side, we know that 4 is the smallest, but we have this smaller than 4, so which means that this number is the smallest number. So we begin with this. Now we have the 3 left. We know that 4 is the smallest number among these 3. And then followed by this cube, square root of 17. And then the last one is 4.5. Question number 4 is write 0 0.09 as a percentage. It is very easy. You just have to multiply by 100. So you have to move two decimal place. It will be 9. 9%. Part B. Evaluate 75% of 3 quarters. It means that we have to do 75% times 3 quarters. So 75, 75 over 100 is 3 over 4 times 3 over 4, which is 9 over 16. And that is your answer for question number 4. Question number 5. A glass of drink is made by adding water to 20 ml of orange juice. So the drink contains 20 ml of orange juice. That's the first um, information that we have. Part A. Anna is making a glass of this drink. She uses 9 ml for water of water for every ml of orange juice. So in this drink, we have 20 ml of juice, but she uses 9 ml for every 1 ml of orange juice. So it means that for 1 ml of orange juice, she is using 9 ml of water. In this drink, we have 20 ml of orange juice. So how much water she is using? 9 times 20, which is 180 ml of water. So that's how much water she is using in this juice. So work out the volume of drink in this glass. So the drink is water water plus juice, which is 180 plus 20, it will be 200. So 200 ml is the volume of this drink. Now to part B, we have Tariq has a bottle containing two liters of orange juice. So two liters. So what we can do is that we know that one liter is 1000 ml. So two liter is 2000 ml. Right. She uses, he uses all of the orange juice to make glasses of this drink. Work out the number of glasses he makes. So we know that in one drink, we are using 20 ml of orange juice. And now we have 2000 ml of orange juice. So we know that 20 ml is one glass. How many glass is 2000 ml? It's 1 divided by 20 times 2000, which is 100. So your answer is 100 glass. Okay. Question number 6, part A. Evaluate 36 power half. We know that 36 is 6 power 2, and then half is half. So now we bring this half inside, it will be 6, 2, now half, which is equal to 1. So the answer is 6. So now we have 5 to the power of minus 2. So we can just flip the inside. So for example, this is equal to 5 minus 2. So what we can do, we can just do this. It becomes positive. Now we expand the uh, we um, expand the bracket. 
will be 1 over power 2, 5, 5 over 2, it become 1 over 25. So that's your answer. Okay, moving on to part B, is we have 2 to the power of 2 times 8 to the power of 5 over 3 equal to 2k. So we know that 8 is 2 power 3. So we replace back in the equation, we have 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 3. And then we have 5 over 3 equal to 2k. So 2 to the power of 2 times, we have, we have to bring this fraction inside, we have this cancel this. So 2 power 5 equal to 2k. So when we multiply the the um, according to indices, we have to they have the same base, so we can add the top, which is two power k, and then we can just simplify a little bit. So since they have the same base of two, we can just take it out. So k becomes seven. That is your answer.